Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times closely in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice and time kick to the body for the champion. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Lee. Gets the early takedown here. Oh, seamless transition to half guard there. Unbelievable how quickly he was able to slice that leg through to get to the half guard. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Making all these shots count. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Side control now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Change of the position. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. 
top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape from him. Midway through round one. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Massive shot from the top. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature <laughs> about the fact that this is a real fighting position, and the guy on top has a lot of opportunities to finish. If he's going to attack this north-south choke, he's got to drive that shoulder deep into his neck, really start to sink his weight away, which will in turn cut the oxygen from his opponent, allowing him to get the finish. Got it very tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, and submission defense wins this transition. This is a terrible position. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Constantly a moving target. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Now he's going full mount. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. He's going to go to sleep. It's over. Working on Ezekiel Choke, and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Lee's cheek is just pouring blood all over his face, all over the canvas. That gash is terrible. So bad, we might even get a stoppage here. We'll see. Up. Ooh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh. Second round, straight ahead. Oh. Stop, stop, All right, there's the end stop. of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. You're good. You're fine. We knew this was going to be like this. We knew we were going to have a war. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. Working off the jab, it's good. Oh, a amplitude head kick. Takedown defense. Oh, huge knee to the head. Oh, collar tie. Wow, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say the fight is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to say this after that? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it, somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. Oh, nice level change. 
Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound. Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Arms in deep. Great submission defense. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pack to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Just over three minutes to go. Well, with that eye, it's officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh, come on. That has got to be it. That oh, smokes. Unbelievable. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot. Gets the win by way of submission. That after party's going to be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission. He squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.